So what makes AI power different? These new models have dedicated AI chips called NPUs that handle smart tasks like real-time translation, background blur, or instant search right on your device. It's faster, more private, and way more efficient. In short, your laptop doesn't just run apps anymore, it actually helps you. Today, we're looking at the top five options currently available, and as always, links to the best deals are in the description. First up, the Omnibook 7 AI from HP. In many ways, this feels like HP's statement piece in the AI laptop era. They built this one to be a do-everything machine for a wide audience rather than a niche specialist. From the moment I picked it up, I noted its balance, sturdy without being heavy, well-finished without feeling precious. Open the lid and you see why this one gets a lot of love from reviewers. The display is crisp, colors are well mapped, and the hinge gives just enough resistance so it doesn't flop around. What's underneath? In some configurations, you get Intel's latest core ultra-class processors paired with a decent GPU option. For example, in NVIDIA RTX 4050 in the higher-end models, the point is not to be a hulking gaming rig, but to be ready when you decide you need that extra graphical horsepower, say in Lightroom Premiere Blender, whatever your tool of choice is. Now on the AI front, HP leans into the hybrid architecture. This machine is built to take advantage of on-device AI acceleration, whatever Windows or app features require it. That means background tasks, things like live captions, smart search across your files, upscaling compressed images, start to feel smoother, more immediate. It's not magic, but it is satisfying. The AI inferencing is not a gimmick, you'll actually feel it in day-to-day -day use. In real use, what stood out was how this laptop handles transitions. From checking email to opening a 6K video in Premiere, to switching to a web conference with background blur, it moves gracefully. The fans stay quiet during most of it. Only when pushing sustained GPU rendering do they spin up noticeably, but that's normal. Battery life is solid, but not world beating. If you stay in document web light creative mode, you might get six to seven hours. Push it hard and you may want to be within reach of a charger. But for many people's daily workflow, that's enough. All right, moving from HP's well-rounded workhorse to something a little sleeker, let's talk about the Asus ZenBook S16 AI. The first thing you notice is that gorgeous 16-inch OLED display. Asus has been perfecting its panels for years and this one is stunning. Bright, color accurate, with black so deep they basically erase the bezels. Whether you're editing photos, watching a movie, or just admiring your desktop wallpaper, it's hard not to stop and stare. Inside, it runs AMD's Ryzen AI 9 processor, one of the first chips with a genuinely strong NPU. That means AI features like noise suppression, background framing, and image previews all run locally, not in the cloud. Faster, smoother, and more private. Day-to-day, -day, the ZenBook S16 AI feels effortless. It multitasks silently and stays impressively cool for how thin it is. Asus clearly fine-tuned the airflow instead of just relying on aluminum and hope. The build quality, easily one of the best in class. Asus uses something called Ceralluminum, a ceramic anodized aluminum finish that's smooth, matte, and fingerprint resistant. It looks elegant without shouting, look at me. Typing feels great, short key travel, but crisp feedback. And the massive glass trackpad has subtle haptics that make it feel mechanical without the click. Everything about using it feels premium. Performance-wise, it's made for creators and professionals who care more about display quality and efficiency than brute GPU power. The integrated graphics handle light editing and casual gaming fine, and battery life can stretch close to 12 hours. A rare feat for a 16-inch OLED. Downsides? The slim build means soldered RAM and limited ports, so what you buy is what you live with. Keep that USB-C hub handy, and if you want a laptop that's as beautiful as it is capable, the ZenBook S16 AI hits that sweet spot, quiet, powerful, and refined. Next up is the Microsoft Surface Laptop or as I like to call it, the reference model for what Windows on AI is supposed to feel like. Microsoft's been building to this for years. First the Surface line, then Windows 11's new Copilot Plus features. And now it's all come together in a beautifully balanced machine powered by the Snapdragon X Elite or X Plus chip. Right away it feels different. It's light, whisper quiet, and premium in that classic Surface way. Smooth aluminum, clean lines, and a hinge that opens like butter. The 120 hertz display pops instantly, and you realize this laptop isn't chasing raw specs, it's chasing experience. As one of the first true Copilot plus PCs, it runs AI features locally instead of in the cloud. So when you use Recall, Studio Effects, or Live Captions, it's faster, private, and seamless. The Snapdragon X Elite handles it all, photo editing, transcription, even multiple 4K streams, without ever heating up or getting noisy. Battery life is where it really flexes up to 18 hours of real-world use. 
You can charge it Monday morning and still be going strong Tuesday night. And now it's not perfect. Windows on ARM has matured a lot, but a few older apps still lag behind. That said, most mainstream programs run beautifully. Even the webcam and mics are AI tuned to make you look and sound sharp, no matter how questionable your lighting is. All right, time to turn the volume up a bit. Because while the last few laptops were all about thin, light, and efficient, this next one takes a very different approach. Meet the MSI Vector 16HX AI, a laptop that's basically saying, sure, I can handle your AI workloads, and then I'll run Cyberpunk at max settings just for fun. This thing is unapologetically a performance machine. It's thick, it's heavy, and it means business. If the Surface laptop whispers, the Vector 16HX flexes, but here's the thing, it's not brute force for the sake of it. MSI has built this model to be one of the first AI-ready gaming and creator laptops that actually makes use of all three processing engines, CPU, GPU, and NPU working in tandem. Inside, you'll find Intel's latest Core i9 HX series chip paired with a full power RTX 4070 or 4080 GPU, depending on configuration. That gives you not just traditional rendering power, but also NVIDIA's dedicated tensor cores for AI acceleration. Combine that with Windows new Copilot Plus features and you've got a laptop that can chew through neural rendering, video upscaling, stable diffusion, or whatever your AI workload of choices without breaking a sweat. Now, yes, the fans do get loud when you push it, but they've got a reason to. This thing's cooling system looks like it was borrowed from a spacecraft, twin fans, shared heat pipes, and vents that could double as jet exhaust. It's not subtle, but it works. The Vector 16 stays surprisingly cool even under sustained load. The display is a treat for gamers and creators alike. A 16-inch QHD Plus panel with a high refresh rate and strong color accuracy. Whether you're gaming, editing video, or running machine learning visualizations, it's fluid, vivid, and sharp. Battery life? Look, let's be honest. If you're buying a laptop like this, you're not doing it for the unplugged experience. Expect five, maybe six hours in normal use, less if you're actually gaming. But when it's plugged in, it's pure power on tap. The keyboard feels great. MSI's signature mechanical-like keys with customizable RGB lighting that can go from subtle white backlight to full rave mode, depending on your mood, or caffeine intake. The trackpad is fine, but you'll probably have a mouse plugged in 99% of the time. Let's wrap things up with something that bends the rules, literally. The HP Omnibook X Flip is the shape-shifting member of this new AI family, and it's the one that's easiest to imagine living with every day. Where the Omnibook 7 AI was HP's traditional powerhouse, the X Flip is its more creative cousin. It's built around the same idea, premium materials, sharp design, but adds a 360 degree hinge, pen support, and that lovely Snapdragon X Elite processor that makes it an official Copilot plus PC. Translation, this is an AI first machine through and through. The first impression is how impossibly light and slim it feels for a two in one. The hinge is smooth but firm, so you can flip from laptop to tablet to tent mode without any wobble. In laptop mode, it looks clean and professional. In tablet mode, it suddenly feels like a sketchbook for your ideas. HP's latest OLED display really sells the illusion. It's bright, punchy, and rich enough to make digital ink feel like real pen on paper. And then there's that NPU, the Neural Processing Unit, which quietly handles all those background AI features without chewing up your battery. Real-time translation in video calls, live captions, studio-grade background blur, and the Copilot Recall tool that lets you search your memory for past windows and files. It's all happening locally, privately, and almost invisibly. Performance-wise, the Snapdragon X Elite continues to impress. It's not a gaming chip, but it's shockingly fast in day-to-day -day use launching apps, switching between creative projects, even editing 4K footage in lightweight workflows, it stays cool and silent. The fan rarely kicks in and the battery can easily stretch well beyond a full workday. If you've been burned by Intel laptops dying halfway through a flight, this one feels like redemption. HP's design team also got the little things right. The keyboard feels soft but firm with great feedback for long typing sessions. The trackpad is wide and smooth and the audio from the top firing speakers is better than you'd expect from such a thin device. The webcam is sharp and smart, literally. AI-based lighting adjustment and auto framing make you look composed even if your meeting setup is chaos. The only real limitations are the ones that come with its flexibility. Because it's so thin, ports are limited. You'll be living that USB-C life. And if you're a power user who runs legacy desktop apps or complex emulators, Windows on ARM might throw you an occasional curveball. But for 95% of users, everything runs buttery smooth now. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. So it really helps out the channel and lets me know which device is your favorite. And if you want more straightforward tech reviews, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. 
We've got more comparisons, reviews, and honest takes coming up.